Oh no, did I screw up? I think I screwed up. I don't have enough magic either. I guess this is the end. Damn it. Huh? Track T? You, you came back! I was worried sick about you. But if you're back, that means you were able to save the past. Yeah. I am so relieved. Hmm? Shh. Must have been my imagination. Within this ward, nothing should be able to detect me. Oh, that's right. So in case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of enemy territory. I encountered some resistance, so I had no choice but to ram my caravan straight through. But something terrible was still chasing me, so I put up this ward to conceal myself. I think it worked. Now I can finally take a breather. One of the other witches was supposed to lead an attack from this floor, but... Maybe she's already relocated to another floor. Anyway, I'm so glad you're back, Tracty. Really, you don't know how happy I am. <clears throat> now, Tracty, I have another request I must ask of you. The savior of the past. You and your brigade were able to defy fate and change history. And so, I must turn to you once again. This world, Tannis is on the verge of destruction. And it's all because of Velcarana. This country has been completely destroyed. Countless innocents have died, and many of my allies have fallen. I don't even know how many survivors are left in this world. We should have been willing to sacrifice everything to defeat Velcarana before it reached maturity. We should have done what you did, but we were naive. We tried to fight it with as few sacrifices as possible. But in the end, we lost. Everything. Now Velcarana has fully matured, and amassed so much power that no one can hope to defeat it. But if we were to seal it away, then it might be possible to defeat it. By sealing Velcarana, we can buy ourselves some time. Whether it's 1,000 years, or 100 years, as long as we buy ourselves some time to study it, I'm sure we can eventually defeat it. That's why I'm not ready to give up. Not while there's still a chance. In order to seal it, we need to stop Velcarana's heart. Just for a moment. Even with its heart stopped, Velcarana can still regenerate itself. That's why killing it outright is impossible. However, if we can stop Velcarana's heart for even a second, that might weaken it enough to seal it away. With that said, not even Madame Dronia, the other great witches, or even my past self could pull this off. Everyone thought it was impossible. No different from trying to kill Velcarana outright. But now I'm convinced it could work, Tracti. You saved the past. And you came back to me. Together, I just know we can do it. Please, Tracti. Please help me save this world again. Thank you, Tracty. I knew you would say that. <laughs> I managed to survive in this world where humanity is nearly wiped out, so I'm very optimistic about our chances. I hope you're prepared, Tracty. I'm so happy you're here to help me. I really can't thank you enough. I know. Let's use this broken caravan as our base of operations. If I'd known I was going to be in this situation, I wouldn't have broken the caravan in the first place. Oh well, let's get to work. Now, this might seem confusing at first, Tracti, so just bear with me while I tell you about my battle plan. This caravan will act as our base as we go forth and conquer this dungeon. I call it Operation Conquer Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> so
settle down, everyone. Now, I'll start off by explaining a few things. First, I'll tell you where we are. We're actually inside Velcarana itself. Dun, 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 dun! Yes, inside the fully matured Velcarana, there exists another labyrinth. A sprawling labyrinth filled with deadly monsters just like the one beneath Refrain. Except this one's way more fortified. My allies and I are in the middle of conquering this labyrinth. The other great witches have already entered the labyrinth from different entrances. They're distracting the enemies as they make their way toward Velcarana's heart. At least, that's what's supposed to be happening. Since I was able to bring you back, I've just decided we can proceed with Operation Conquer and carry out a solo mission. According to Newton's prophecy, the key to defeating Velcarana is you. I think that means we can't stop Velcarana's heart and seal it without your help. At least, that's what I told the other great witches. But unfortunately, I couldn't convince everyone. And yet, here you are, ready to help me. That's why I'm calling this Operation Conquer Part 2. For this plan, we're not going to look for the heart. Instead, we're going to search this labyrinth for the antechambers. For each one you find, you need to use your power to activate them. You should be able to activate the antechambers. Because no one else but you can do this. Now, let's go. I'd like to regroup with the other witches if possible. Particularly the witch who's responsible for this floor, since she's the strongest of the great witches. If we can regroup with her, it'll make things a little easier. Also, I need to tell you one last thing. There's a dangerous enemy in here. Someone who you might recognize. if she could set some nearby. She's waiting for me to come out. Why that low, down, dirty, rotten... Be strong. I have to be strong. Hmm. Hmm. I can sense her faint magical power. And yet, she refuses to show herself. Oh well. Perhaps the foolish little witch requires a call to action. This memento should suffice. Spina! No! <laughs> foolish witches. You took the bait and wandered willingly into this labyrinth. Your luck ran out the moment you set foot in this place. There is no escape. Accept your fate. You think you can run your mouth while you wear her face? You think I don't already know this is a one-way trip? I thought you stronger than this, witch. I thought your comrade's folly would inspire you to action, not cowardice. What a shame. Be strong, Tracti. Be strong. We can't let her find our base. Besides, she's too powerful. Everything 
is fine. Everything's gonna be fine now. That's right. I can't let this get to me. There's so much I still need to explain, but we don't have time. I'll have to tell you later. Besides, if Spina was killed, then the other witches don't stand a chance. The enemies here are relentless. Even the ones in the labyrinth, far from Valkyrana's heart, have deadly powers. Even with the power of your brigade, and all the experience you've obtained, that still might not be enough to stop them. But... But if we work together, you, me, and your brigade, we can do it. Let's do this, Chakti. No. I'm counting on you. You better watch out, Valkyrana, because we're gonna conquer this labyrinth. Looks like a battle was fought here. Someone must have come here before us. This is... Spina's crest. Chakti... Spina was a nice girl. She was only seven years younger than me, and... she was the only one who believed in Newton's prophecy and Operation Conquer. That's why she risked her life to erect this ward and protect this place. N now, Trakti, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but we need to activate this antechamber. The last witch arrives, and it's the cunning Mezaluka, no less. <gasps> A trap! You evil bitch! Defiant to the very end. But if you surrender now, I'll leave this world intact. You know I don't want to destroy this world. Now, come with me, my dear Mezaluka. I'm not falling for your lies. Not now, not ever. And if you think I'm here alone, you stupid doll, think again. Trakti, this thing is an avatar of Elkarana. Don't be deceived by her words or appearance. Let's go, Tracty. To me, Witch Brigade! Go! Destroy her! Let's get started. <laughs> Leave it to me! Are you getting handsy with me? My! <laughs> My favorite formation. There! Take that! Naughty, naughty! Naughty, naughty! Meanie! Got him! Huh? Like this? <laughs> oh! Look up, yes, kid! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel the power. Oh, 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 my. <laughs> my favorite formation. to defeat one Dronia Poppet. But you managed to beat this one yourself, Tracti. Operation Conquer isn't hopeless. Neldo. Newton. Everyone. 
We can do this! W what about me? Mesaluka? Have you forgotten... about me? Remember... when we went... to the hill? I'm not gonna let you trick me. I can't believe you would use Madame Dronia's memories to manipulate me. <gasps> this is no time for tears. She may have called me the last witch, but I don't know for certain that the others were defeated. These things always tell lies to try to get in your head. Hmm? Oh, I should explain what's going on. The fully matured Velcarana is way bigger than the one you remember. That's why this enormous labyrinth can fit inside of it. Because it's so big, it created small avatars of itself to kill any humans who invade. Avatars like this thing here. I'm fairly certain that Baba Yaga's will is no longer in these smaller ones. But like Baba, they still desire immortality. They long to become one with Velkarana again. Using Baba and Mom's power, Velkarana manifested a legion of Dronia puppets and sent them inside itself. They may have Madame Dronia's appearance and memories, but no matter how real they appear, they don't have a human soul at all. The only ones who have been fighting back against Velkarana are me and the other great witches. Zorak, Frank Huran, Naja, Harkin Rail, Nazca, Labeline, and Forespina. We entered from different areas before we launched our attack. Our goal was to distract Velkavrana as we made our way to its heart. The first of us to reach Velkavrana's heart will seal it. That was our plan. We've launched four attacks so far. With each attack, more great witches have died, and we've gotten no closer to reaching the heart. The chamber containing Velkavrana's heart must be carefully hidden. But it has to be in here somewhere. Velkarana has already reached full maturity. At a moment's notice, it could take to the sky and devour this world. We don't have much time left. This will probably be our final attack. Our current situation is... hopeless. But that's not important right now. Let's try to activate the antechamber. If this works, we can finally repay Neldo and Newton for their sacrifice. Here it goes. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. I knew it! The antechamber is primed now. It's just like the Labyrinth of Refrain. Which means... There must also be eight antechambers we need to connect. If we conduct the ritual in each antechamber, the witch's crest holding Velkavrana's body together will become unstable. If that happens, the inner ward will fall, and then we can access the chamber that contains its heart. I bet Baba never expected her antechambers would be her undoing. Too many have died for us to stop now. Let's go, Tracti. Hmm. The second antechamber. We finally found it! I can't tell you how happy I am you're here. I'm really glad Neldo and Newton found you. Oh, I never told you about my power to move time. I've had this power ever since I was a little girl, but I never knew how to trigger it at will. So whenever I used it, I never knew how far back I would go. At first, this power didn't seem like something that could bring hope. But everything changed after Great Sage Newton made his prophecy. The key to victory has been discovered. A name. We didn't know what the name meant. Was it a person? A place? A thing? No one had any idea. As the battle intensified, some gave up. Others ran away. And some killed themselves rather than live with the horror. Our witch brigade was composed of the strongest witches from all over the world. But now, they're all gone. 
Nelda and Newton never gave up, though. They allowed their souls to be sent to the past, so they could obtain the source of the name mentioned in the prophecy. Not long after, I used my ability to sense wandering souls and discovered that your name is the true name of the Tractatus de Monstrum. Though that book no longer exists in this world, learning its true name allowed me to make an important discovery. The Keystone Antechambers. They're the crux of everything. We discovered one of these antechambers during our second attack on Velcavrana. It appeared to be an ordinary room, but for some reason Velcavrana had stationed an avatar there. In hindsight, I think she was testing whether we knew the secret of the antechamber, and if we were capable of activating it. I used every means at my disposal to research it, but I couldn't find any new leads. And every time we discovered an antechamber, it would shift deeper into the labyrinth. But when I learned that you were the true name of the Tractatus de Monstrum, that's when everything finally made sense. This antechamber was created by Baba Yaga, and it has transformed along with her. Now it's her weak point. She created the Tractatus de Monstrum to connect the antechambers. By being in this room, you can connect them too. You're the key to activating the antechambers and creating the disruption within Velkavrana that will destroy the ward. Now, Tracti, let's activate it. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. All right, great job. Let's keep moving. Look! That dark residue is one of Velcravana's silent avatars. Damn. What's it doing here? Velcravana must know what we're up to. Don't be careless, Tracti. That thing's just as strong as the hatched Velcravana you defeated in the past. It single-handedly destroyed half of the world in its rampage. It's incredibly dangerous. But we can't just ignore it. Together we can defeat it. Maybe. No, no. What are you doing, Mezaluka? Why are you acting so weak? Show that thing who's boss. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Now let's do it. Ready or not? You, but don't touch me. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you getting handsy with me? My. Wonderful. There, there. Yeah, yeah. Get the follow me. Don't empower. Meanie, naughty, naughty. Yeah. Like this, huh? Thank you. Huh? Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you getting, are you getting handsy? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, no. Are you getting handsy with me? Naughty, naughty. No, naughty, naughty. Take that! Huh. Right there! Hit! No. <laughs> oh, is this the buffet lot? Oh. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Yeah! Naughty, naughty. Huh. Yeah? Me next! Like this!
battle for me. Yeah! Sure thing! Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Hit! <laughs> My favorite formation. Yeah! Sure thing! Naughty, naughty. Now, if a powerful avatar of Velcarana is guarding a room, then the room must be an antechamber. We can do it, Tracti. Connecting the antechambers will surely lead to Velcarana's heart. Damn. Why didn't I realize it sooner? Then again, I didn't really have time to notice. Not with everyone dying around me. And even if I had, we still would have needed you to connect all the antechambers in the first place. You, Mesaluka? Z Zoro? You're alive, Mesaluka. I'm so relieved. Yeah, but I've been preoccupied with a few things. And Spina. She. Spina's gone, huh? I see. How unfortunate. I also come bearing bad news. I'm all but certain that Number Four has killed Fran and Naja. Fran and Naja? Yes. I also haven't been able to make contact with Harkin, Nazca, or Labeline. I can't imagine them being defeated so easily, but... A peculiar scent is in the air as of late. It does not sit well with me. Furthermore, the interior structure of the labyrinth has changed since our last assault. Yeah. The Dronia puppets on the surface have begun to return to Velkuvrana. Our past assault never provoked such a response. Why is this happening now? By the way, what happened to your Funa puppets? They're probably making their way to the heart on their own. Or maybe they're looking for the other antechambers like I am. Probably? Maybe? I don't actually know where they are. My connection to them was severed the moment they entered the labyrinth. On the surface, I encountered Bomb, another avatar of Velkavrana. I barely escaped his attempt to seal me in another dimension. Bomb is still alive? Indeed, he is a troubling adversary. Hmm? What's that pendant you're wearing? Hmm? This? <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Zoro. This is the Chosen One. Then, Operation Conquer was a success? I understand now. Well done, Mesaluka. It's simply a matter of connecting these keystone antechambers to each other. In that case, we should search for Nazca. With her clairvoyance, we'll easily find the other antechambers. Also, it might be wise to avoid the lower recesses of the labyrinth. It's crawling with Dronia puppets. Hmm? There must be an antechamber there. Let's go together, Zoro. No, you don't need my help. Not if you have your brigade. But, Zorok, we'll be safer if we stick together. You always thought Spina was the strongest of us. Perhaps you were underestimating my power as the Shadow Witch. Besides, I work best alone. No other witches are skilled in assassination. Have you forgotten that I'm the only one who has killed the Dronia Poppet by herself? No, I haven't. But... I'm not ready to give up my search for the heart. As long as one of us finds it, we'll gain the upper hand. 
B but if Newton's prophecy is correct, then... Just do what I say, Mesaluka. This assault is our last chance. For the sake of the Fallen, we cannot afford to fail right now. <sighs> but thanks to their sacrifice, I think we're finally starting to see a glimmer of hope. <sighs> now go! I have faith that your Operation Conquer will be a smashing success. And if anyone's going to avenge Neldo, it's going to be me. Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Now go! The funeral puppets I dispatched. Madam Mesaluka, I've secured this ante chamber. Funa, you're still alive! I'm glad you're safe. Oh. You all performed admirably. Thank you for your service. <sighs> okay, this is no time to be sad. Chakti, let's activate this antechamber. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. I sacrificed so many Funa puppets. I would send them to search, and if I lost contact with them, I'd just create new ones over and over again. It always pained me to do that. They may be puppets, but they still act like living beings. They still had hearts. They may not have had a soul like Madame Dronia did, but they could still see, feel, and speak. They could still experience anger, fear, sadness, happiness. They all could. But I had no choice. I had to send them. Our resources were scarce enough already, and we'd already lost so many witches. But now that you're here, I can finally honor their sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you for your service, my Funas. Rest in peace. Is this... Bomb? He's the one who severed my connection to my Funa puppets! on earth? Maybe Zorok defeated him. Phew! When this battle to fight is alright by me. Let's activate this antechamber, Tracti. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. Okay, Tracti. Maybe I should tell you a little more about Neldo and the others. Neldo wasn't from Tanis. He came from a different world entirely. <laughs> Neldo said he was from a world called Yggdrasil. His people were owl spirits, and he was their king. His people had the power to traverse time and space. That's probably why Baba Yaga destroyed his world. Escaping the destruction of their world, Neldo and his younger sister made their way to Tanis. Zorik and I happened to find them and we were able to help them. Did we do the right thing by helping them? I thought I knew. Now I'm not sure anymore. Oh, 
That's right. You also know Newton, don't you? Newton came from another world, but not the same one as Neldo. He claimed to be a great sage in his world. He was a pretty amazing man. Newton had been pursuing Baba for a long time. He could see her tyrannical ambitions and sadistic nature. He managed to pursue her to Campanula. I'm told their battle was quite vicious. But through her cunning and magical might, Baba was able to overcome Newton's intellect and defeat him. She managed to gain the upper hand by seducing the Fairy King into helping her. Filled with regret, Newton decided to stay and refrain to keep watch for Baba. If Baba ever came back to the town to retrieve the key, he'd be ready to defeat her. That's how the Newton you met in the past came to Tanis. But that Newton had already sealed his memories before you met him. So you knew him as Newt. Both Neldo and Newton sent their souls to the past, but in exchange, they had to die in the present. They learned you were our only hope and went back to the past for you. They sacrificed themselves to bring you here. This Tanis exists 100 years from the Tanis you remember, but it's only been three months since Neldo and Newton went back to the past. That's basically the whole story. They risked their lives on a long shot. Also, a Tractatus de Monstrum does exist in this world, but the Tractatus de Monstrum in this world had no will of its own. It was awful. It took 15 years for Johnny and me to conquer the Labyrinth of Refrain. But you managed to conquer it in mere months. Our Tractatus de Monstrum was animate, but not intelligent. It had a soul, but no will. Still, I gave it to the puppet soldiers. As you can imagine, it made the expedition much more difficult. At the time, I did not have the ability to enter the Labyrinth. Belkavrana reached maturity, and the world fell into chaos. To defend the world, everyone volunteered to wage terrible war against Belkavrana. It was during this endless conflict that we managed to find a mysterious red stone. Who created it? And for what reason? Did it just spring up naturally? I can't say. But its power enhanced my time magic and allowed me to directly interfere with time rather than just resetting it. By combining this power with my ability to put souls inside objects, I was able to send a soul to the past. And thanks to that, I created the first loop. I knew putting that soul in the Tractatus de Monstrum would create a time loop, but it was the only way. There are probably thousands upon thousands of souls trapped in the loops I created. That is my sin. Harkin! Nazca! Labeline! They're not breathing. They're... dead? They were alive just moments ago. Look at the 
three of them be defeated so easily? Unless... There's a Jonia puppet nearby? I found you, Mezzaluka. <gasps> Number one? You... How dare you? How dare you show yourself to me, number one! And last, I will have my revenge! Wait, Mesaluka! Calm yourself! S Soro! Why did you stop me? Control your anger, Mesaluka. If you charge blindly at number one, you'll just end up dead like those three. But... The last witches... No. The last humans. You really should be with your friends. Mesaluka, you can't face her alone. Are you going to cry again, Mesaluka? Give up. Do you really think you can defeat me? I may be weak, and I may cry too easily. But let me tell you something, number one. I've never run away from a battle worth fighting. Let's kick her ass, Tracty! Alright, let's go! Tracti, we finally managed to beat number one. We still have a long war left to fight. But with this, Naldo, your sister has been avenged. I wanted to kill number one myself. Damn it all! Die! Die! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Zorak! Get a hold of yourself! This thing could still be alive! Have you forgotten how persistent they are? It's okay, Zoro. It's over. And... Uh, it 
it's hard for me to watch you stab something that looks so much like Madame Dronia. What? You're too soft, Mezaluka! You've always been too soft! This is war! We fight or we die! Those are our only options! Your childish sentiment has no place here! This is just part of Velkuvrana, remember? Or do you not feel that way anymore? Y yeah You're right, Zoro. I'm sorry. You're still putting the souls of the dead in your body, aren't you? You may be purifying those souls, but is the emotional toll really worth it? How long has it been since you started? Sadness. Loneliness. It's better to feel these emotions than nothing at all. Aren't you starting to reach your limit? Or did you cross that threshold ages ago? I know. I know. But I can hear everyone's souls crying out for me. They're restless. Sad. Angry. I can hear every single one of their voices. Am I supposed to just ignore them? <laughs> now, Tracti, let's activate this room. With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. We're all that's left, Zorok. But nearly all the antechambers have been activated, right? Yeah. Just two remain. I discovered a powerful ward on a floor above us. It wasn't present during our last assault. I'll clear a path for you, and kill any Dronia puppets I encounter. Follow me. Zorok, wait! Your injuries are pretty serious. Your right hand looks broken and your eye is cloudy. Can you even see out of it? You're in no condition to fight alone. Don't you think we should work together now? No. I'll be fine by myself. Zoro! Why? I fight best when I'm alone, remember? Besides, you have your Witch Brigade. We're short enough on time as it is. We don't have time to argue back and forth. Not when the dead need avenging. Fine. Then I'll just have to drag you with me. I don't want to see you die too! <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Hey! That's not fair! Zoro! Zoro! Do what you must, Mezaluka. I'll do the same. hasn't been killed. <sighs> what a relief. A Dronia parasite! Let's deal with this thing before we activate the antechamber. Chakti, let's go! Thank 
<laughs> Leave it to me. Oh my! My 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 chest feels warm. Thank you. Battle formation. Whatever. There. Yeah. Sure thing. Take that. That was delicious. Make seven. <sighs> With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. <sighs> it's still kicking. I have to incinerate it. It's the only way. like Madame Dronia. Hmm. It only looks like her. It's not the real Madame Dronia. Don't let it get to you, Mizaluka. If anything, this is proof that I still have my emotions. Yes. Focus on the positive. Focus on that. <sighs> still... Madame Jornia would be so mad right now if she knew these things were getting to me. She could be really strict. Oh yeah. Hey, Tracty. Was Madame Jornia as strict in your world as she was in mine? <laughs> That's a relief. No matter what world it is, Madame Jornia is always herself. Well, no matter how strict Madame Jornia was with me, I still love her. I wish I could hear her voice again. Now then, there's only one antechamber left. We've got a difficult road ahead of us, but we're so close. I know we can do it! Mm. Mm. Hey, Chakti. Can I ask you something? If the worst should happen... Are you willing to die with me? N never mind. Pretend you didn't hear that. It's okay. Don't worry. Now let's go. We've got one room left. I don't know what'll happen once all the antechambers are activated. But I hope you're ready, Baba. No. Velkavrana. This is a problem. I never thought an avatar of Velkavrana would be able to erect such a powerful ward. Chakti... I don't know if you can activate the antechamber while this ward is in place. No. Don't think like that. Thankfully, the avatar guarding this room is nowhere to be found. So let's give it a try. Number 8, coming right up! With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension. It didn't work. Just hold on, Tracty. 
Madame Jonia was always good at dealing with wards. There must be a way. Hmm. Hmm. What would Madame Jonia do? Madame Jonia. Madame Jo. <gasps> Mezaluka. Stop this, Mezaluka. Do you truly intend to seal Isara's soul in the depths of darkness? You would do that to your own mother. <laughs> yes, I am Dronia. The real Dronia. It's been a long time, Luca. Everything will be all right. Let's go back to your house on the hill. Let's go home. Th that's not... Get down, Messer Luca! <laughs> Zoro! Your injuries! We need to treat them right away! Hold on to me. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Now then, how are we supposed to weaken this ward? I... I don't know. But there must be something we can do. This... is impossible. This type of ward is the most difficult to deal with. My injuries are severe. This might be it for me. There's nothing left. Hmm? Flowers are blooming. What are you doing, Miss Zorak? No, it's nothing. The flowers look lovely when they're in bloom. Oh, that reminds me. I can't pick any of these flowers, so... I bought this for Yule, but she doesn't like the color. My sister's getting a little bratty, but I guess it's my fault for spoiling her. <sighs> <laughs> it's okay if you don't like it. I just thought it would look nice on you. You can give it to someone else if you want. N no that's not it. I like it. Thank you. Oh, good. You're welcome. Miss Mezaluka, please don't call me Neldi. In my home world, I was called... Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Happy birthday, Neldi. <laughs> Happy birthday, big brother. Miss Mezaluka. Yule. Thank you. Why did I remember that just now? I guess this really is the end for me. Mezaluka, listen carefully. I'm going to destroy this ward. How? A secret technique my master discovered. She wouldn't teach it to me, though. I had to learn it behind her back. It will significantly increase my physical and magical power. So it's best used in combat situations. But there's a catch. If I use this technique, I will not be able to become human again. And 
Once I destroy the ward, I'll probably... No, I'll definitely try to kill you. So kill me before that happens. <laughs> I've never heard you tell a joke before. Why would you wait until now to tell your first joke? People only say stuff like that when they're about to die. But you're not gonna die, Zoro. Mesaluka, you were right all along. Operation Conquer was our one and only hope. I shouldn't have opposed it. <sighs> Never mind that, what about your wounds? If you're low on magic, I'll... Enough! We don't have time to treat my wounds. And you need to conserve your magic. Don't worry. Just go on without me. I'll embrace my... hideous, horrifying contempt for you. And open the way. You have to save this world, Mezaluka. Save the world that Neldo tried to save. What are you talking about? S Zoro? Shut up! I... I... I hate you, Mezaluka! Huh? I hate you! I've always hated you! I hate the way you shine while I sulk in the dark like a lowly shadow! I can't compare to you, Mesaluka! I hate everything about you, Mesaluka! Zoro, what are you saying? Why were you always the favorite? Why? Why couldn't it be me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no! I won't let you die, Zoro! <laughs> of course you'd say that.
D don't move! Don't move, you! Yule! Just... just calm down and transform into an owl! Damn it! She's too scared to move! He's safe, too. Thank you very much. You saved us. Big Brother! Yule! I'm glad. I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Big Brother! <laughs> Thank goodness. The other one, huh? Okay, watch. <laughs> wow! So cool! You're the best great witch ever, Luca. <laughs> Miss Mezzaluca, thank you for putting up with my little sister. Why, it's my pleasure. Besides, it's a nice break for me, too. So don't even worry about it. Thank you. Luca, I want to see another one! Another one! Another one, huh? Okay, Yule. I'm gonna show you something that's really cool! <laughs> Thank you again for helping me pick up this food, Miss Luca. Don't worry about it. Besides, it just gives me an excuse to play with Yule. Yule and I owe you our lives, Miss Luca. We'd be dead if you hadn't saved us. <laughs> You're exaggerating. I'm just glad a lowly witch like me could be useful, that's all. Miss Luca, I honestly think you could be a first-rate witch. But you can't reach your full potential here in Tannis. You can only access a fraction of your talent here. But if we were in a world rich with mana, you could harness unimaginable power. Hmm, you think so? My power seems normal as it is. Besides, there's no point in wanting what I can't have. In any group of witches, there will always be some that are more powerful than others. All it took was one witch to destroy our world. <sighs> My little sister and I crossed dimensions to escape the destruction of our world. We can never go back. Because of what Furia... No. What Baba Yaga did. That's right. Alright. Then today, how about you play with Yule and me? It'll be fun! <laughs> Next week, I have to travel north to help defeat an avatar of Elkarana. I hope I can come back soon. I'm sorry, Miss Luca. I wish I could help, but... I can't leave my little sister behind. It's okay. Don't even worry about it. Huh? <gasps> Luca! Whoa. That was a close one. I think the food is safe too. Uh, um, Neldo. I think I'm okay. Miss Luca. Mm hmm? Yeah? What? What is it? I've... fallen for you. Uh. Naldo. Luca. Will you... Jonia Puppet? Oh, more vermin.
No. No. You... You... Hmm? You mean this? Yule... No... Yule is... Ah! Hmm... A lucky strike. It won't happen again. Why, you... Mezaluka! This fight is lost! We must retreat and regroup! Retreat? Yule is dead. And you expect me to just... run away? Like hell I'm running! You damn fool! How are you feeling? Better. A lot better. It's all because of you. But... I didn't do anything. That's not true. I'm recovering fast because you've been taking care of me every day. Of course. Miss Luca, please cheer up. You don't need to feel depressed about what happened to you. What? It's normal to feel sad when you lose someone important. Even if you grieve for the rest of your life. That's true. I... feel the same way. But Yule... wouldn't want us to be sad. What? <laughs> what? I miss her too. No, no. Okay. 
It's okay, Zoro. Everything's gonna be okay. Just leave the rest to me, Zoro. Okay, Tracti. Let's get to work. This is it! With this soul that has witnessed the worlds beyond, I bind this twisted dimension! Is... Belkarana's ward... broken? Newton... Neldo... Everyone... It wasn't for nothing... It wasn't in vain... <laughs> okay... Let's go! Belkarana's heart is just beyond the ward! <laughs> 